and social justice warriors. Hillary lost. Tough shit. Deal with it. But rioting is not the way to solve issues. Whining about it, signing a petition to try to overthrow the Democratic vote. People elected who they wanted as president. The world hasn't fallen apart. The only things bad that's happening is from sore ass losers rioting, hurting people, shooting people, causing mayhem because they didn't get their way like a bunch of spoiled brats. You can't just call people names and then go out and riot and do a bunch of violence and bullshit and then blame it on the people that you called names. When you're the only one that said anything, did anything, that's fucking ridiculous. And I'm saying everyone who's doing that's a bunch of fucking retards. Do you want a democratic society or not? If not, you might want to move out of America. That is true. Because in America, we have a democracy. Guess what? I consider myself a libertarian. Not a demo, not a Democrat, not a Republican. I didn't get my way. You don't see me out rioting the streets. Actually, I'm, I'm talking against your violence. So to all the social justice warriors and Hillary supporters who lost and are now flipping the fuck out and accusing the world of doing a bunch of shit that only they themselves are doing, fuck all you. You're some sore ass losers and you're acting like little bitches. When Obama was e elected his first term, a bunch of the right, you know, got all angry, but they didn't riot and shoot people and burn down buildings and all this bullshit. If America voted for racist and a racism, if America voted for a fascist and for literally Hitler, how do you explain that America twice elected a black president? Maybe it has less to do with the gender or color of skin and more to do with the person themselves, as very well it should. You shouldn't be voting for somebody just because they're a female or just because they're black or just because they're white or just because they're rich or just because they're poor and everything in between. That is a ridiculous us versus them mentality way to think. That's the problem with the far left, that they've done this all along. They called people racist and excluded themselves from the conversation thinking they're supreme, but the conversation kept going and they were left out to a point where they had nothing to say in a debate. And it showed. Then they lost completely. And now they don't even know why they lost. They think it's because of racism and shit. No, it's because you don't have any points to any of your ideologies. All you do is virtue signal by calling people racist or, or saying, well, I'm against racism and anti this and anti that. Yes, we all are. Even on the far fucking right, most people are. They're against racism. They're, they're for social justice, but not in the way that you fucks think it is. Not in the way that liberal fucks think it is. People should be taking one issue at a time and, and using their moral faculties and deciding which is the best outcome on each issue. Freedom of speech, guns, everything, abortion, gay marriage. Use your own mental faculties and come to a decision. You shouldn't be so far left that you, one topic that you agree with on the left should define your whole person. That means you are being immoral. Meaning, you are not using your moral faculties to come to your decisions, right? You're not using your morals. That is immoral. We should be engaging our morals and deciding on each issue one at a time. And wherever that leads us is what we are. Don't just be right or left because your family is. Think for yourself. 
or because of whatever religion you are and they normally swing this way or whatever color you are because they normally swing that way or what race or gender, it just doesn't matter. I respect people who are willing to think for themselves and swim upstream a little bit because only dead fish swim, swim downstream. Stream. Fucking up. Anyway, I had to fucking say this shit. Really getting on my nerves. So I had to do a part two of this shit. Till next time, Socrates, peace.